The Capitol Police K-9 unit helped Columbia Police with its search of a Columbia Kinder Care on Tuesday following a bomb threat. ABC 17's Marina Diaz is live in our newsroom tonight. Marina, you actually met the handler and his dog that helped make sure that that building was safe. Dev Lucas, I'd like you guys to meet Bourbon the Bomb Dog. This eight-year-old Springer Spaniel has been an officer with the Capitol Police since 2018. Move your booty. Right there. You gotta look pretty. Plots. Bourbon and his handler, K-9 officer Adam Hoskins, have been helping Mid-Missouri and the Capitol with bomb threats as a team for four years now. Um, it, it's kind of hard not to have a good day when you get to spend your whole day with a dog. But it's not all fun and games for Bourbon and Hoskins. Any situation is dangerous regardless of what it is because it, it's obviously somebody called in a bomb threat of some kind. So it, the potential hazard of there actually being a bomb at any given time is there. The team trains once a week in Columbia and on Tuesday during their training, they sprang into action to help the Columbia Police Department with its search of the Columbia Kinder Care. Police say Alexander Green told the daycare he put a bomb in it. We went there, assisted um, with searching the perimeter and the interior for any explosive devices with the bomb techs and team and uh, Columbia Police Department, Columbia Fire Department, everybody was there. Hoskins told me that everybody did their part to make sure the daycare was safe for the students to return. Hoskins says that Bourbon plays a crucial role in their teamwork and that they will continue serving mid-Missouri for as long as Bourbon can work. He should be, so long as he's medically able, be able to do the job for probably another, you know, four, five, six years. And once Bourbon retires, Hoskins says he is taking him home. The team helps the University of Missouri ensure that their stadium is safe for fans prior to game day. They also have a contract with Homeland Security that requires them to help with searches in and around the area. Reporting live from the newsroom, Marina Diaz, ABC 17 News. Okay, Marina, thank you. Now, luckily, the team found no explosives at the daycare. Green was arrested last night in Kansas.